the, the stance when you shoot a rifle is different than when you shoot a pistol. Right-handed shooter drops your shooting foot back and you face off at about a 45 degree angle. This allows me, without changing this triangle, I'm going to form a triangle right here. Okay? I want to keep that triangle all the way through my shooting, from the first shot to the last. I have a different way to illustrate it, and I call it keeping the gun in front of you. And it doesn't matter whether it's a pistol or a rifle. I'm going to pretend this gun is growing right out the middle of my chest, because I'm a mutant, right? <laughs> okay, the only way I can get this gun to that target, I can't do it like that. The only way I can do it is to turn and point at it with my chest. Now I got a target over here. I turn and point at it. I call it keeping the weapon in front of you. So if you're shooting, you can cheat and do this. That's no good. Turn your body. This gun physically doesn't move, but my chest rotates, right? There you go. So now, by using just my waist and my knees, I can come clear to there, and I can come clear to there. So you need to be able to turn enough to get the farthest target on both sides. So you want just a slight bend of the knees. If you do a large bend like I'm doing there, I can go to there, and I can go to there. I can't sweep as easy. So all of my, my change of, of, of indexing my chest to that next target is all done from here down. Okay? It never comes from the arms. So if I want to go I want to go left, basically I point the left knee left, and if I want to go right, I point the right knee right. If you do this where you stay connected, you will think that that feels slower. I want to tell you one thing for certain is when it comes to shooting, your brain is a stinking liar. Your brain will tell you things that aren't true. You say, well, it feels slow. Well, that's why I got a timer here. I'm going to prove to you that it isn't slow. Because the clock doesn't lie. Two, oh, two. Woo! I like that.